Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan. Oh, how the honk are you? <laughs> yeah, we got a crazy video for you today. Ba bam! Yeah, check it out. This is going to be um, a video of my hat. Yes, this is Roverland, the channel that's anything and everything ab about Land Rovers. And I show you guys my uh, collection of all different kind of things. And uh, if you um, have been watching my uh, channel lately, you know that I got some stuff from uh, Frank over at Magoo's, uh, Quincy Magoo's School for 164 Drivers, and he sent me this hat. And this is what prompted me to uh, do this video as uh, I gotta show my hat. So let's go down a little bit. And I, you know, I forgot to look what they call this, but this has got the, the, the little uh, thing so it keeps the sun off your uh, your neck, you know? So this is totally cool. Thank you again very much, Frank, for sending me this hat. But uh, there it is, Land Rover, the best four by four by far. Oh, and I don't know what this uh, person or being's name is. I don't even know if it's human, but anyway, We'll, uh, we'll just enjoy ourselves here, all right? All right, so there we go, hat number one. All righty, number two, this is one of my favorites of all time. Uh, yeah, I wore this hat everywhere. You, I don't even think it was supposed to be frayed. I know that that's a new kind of common thing is have frayed uh, bill on your cap. But anyway, I bought this in person, yeah, this is one of my favorite hats. As you can see, dusty, sweaty, worn. It's got the little Land Rover logo on the back. It's got the uh, brass. This was a shiny brass and <laughs> I got it all. I used to wear this four wheeling and everything. So yeah, this got a lot of love in there. What does it say on the top there? Let's see if we can get up there and see what it says. Oh yeah, Soho, England. Yeah, since 1948. Awesome, awesome hat there. All righty, wow, yeah. <laughs> Hat number three, yeah, this is another one that I bought and wore. It was a doozy, yeah, I loved it. I loved it very much. Just a plain Land Rover classic green hat. Uh, it's got the uh, clamp on the back, so you, it's a more adjustable there. That is very cool. So this is a very nice one. I hope you like that. Uh, yeah, just a plain old classic Land Rover hat. I wore this quite a bit, as you see, got a little soiled there, but uh, boy, quite a looker, isn't it? Quite a looker. <laughs> oh, righty, I'm, I already lost count of how many hats this is. <laughs> Here's another one. This is uh, like a Land Rover uh, Range Rover hat. It has uh, supercharged on the bill. I like this hat. I bought this at the dealership. Very, very nice, very, very, <laughs> very sleek, if you don't mind me saying, very sleek. Let's take a look at what we got in the back here. Oh, I always like this. This is uh, kind of like a, uh, yeah, it's not a clamp. It's a buckle-like. It just uh, the folds through. You know, because you got one of these hats too, don't you? But this is a nice uh, tan color with the black bill. It's kind of sun faded, but it goes back with the black Land Rover uh, 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 what is it? Oval, the black oval. So that's uh, yeah, supercharger from uh, Range Rover. Nice one, nice one. Alrighty, yes, here's another one. This is another one that I love to daily wear. Uh, yes, I don't wear a hat much anymore, but this was one of my favorite ones, the muddy oval. Yes, beautiful one. Uh, I probably didn't look quite as dashing and demoneer as this guy here, but hey, man, uh, what do you say? So a, bra a tan with a green build to it, the muddy oval, I love it, I love it. It was great hat, I love this. Uh, and then on the back here, it had the uh, brass clamp, which was always nice. You could just, uh, you know, adjust it to exactly your uh, size head. It had a little uh, Land Rover uh, tab on it. Very, very cool, the little green knob on the top. But this was, uh, as you notice, all my hats are kind of uh, uh, brown, green. I love the brown and green, all right? Yeah, 
All right, let's see what else I got. All right, the next one. We're getting down to uh, the last of the ones that I used to wear. This was a Land Rover G4 Challenge. I put a, a lapel pin on this one. Very, very classic. I really like this one a lot. This was probably one of the last ones that I wore. And you kind of see that they give it the uh, the old weather look or, or whatever. I like the, the orange trim on the build hat. That was a really nice touch for this hat. A uh, really nice touch. Then the, the stitching is all yellow with, uh, well, this used to be kind of a brown, uh, but yeah, just really nice. Uh, once again, they like to use that kind of, uh, I don't know, buckle or slide knot. And then with the Land Rover oval on the back in orange, beautiful hat, love it a lot. This was one of my favorites. I probably should get back to wearing this one. This would be a good classic. All right, <laughs> we're falling apart, hold on. All righty then. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, this, is my, this is one of my favorites. <laughs> camel trophy, you can't, you can't do camel trophy without a full beard. <laughs> oh my good grief. <laughs> These guys are getting crazy, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right, anyway, back to the hat. So here we have a camel trophy hat with the green bill and uh, tan uh, cap to it. Big yellow camel trophy uh, placard up front. Uh, green little button on top. The uh, little vent buttons are green and uh, very, very nice. This one I like is because uh, it's got a nice long tail to it that you can stick back into the uh, brim of the hat. So if you got a real big head, that's all right. It's got the uh, slide buckle there. Really, really cool. This is one of my favorite hats. This is the last, one of the last uh, hats that I wore. Uh, I got one more that, that I wore uh, during the winter, but we'll get to that soon enough. But here you go, the camel trophy hat. Excellent, excellent hat. All righty, the next hat in the collection is this beauty. Uh, never wore this one, never wore this one. Uh, beautiful tan, I love it. Got the orange oval double ring there for the Land Rover logo. Very, very nice. Get dirty, stay clean. There you go. That is awesome. That is awesome. Awesome. I love it. I love it. This has got a Velcro uh, back to it. So, so very, very cool. Uh, let me just show you real quick. The, the underside is really cool too of the bill. So, I mean, I, this is how much I didn't wear this hat. <laughs> I still have the protective cardboard to, to uh, keep it uh, in shape. 100%, this is 100% uh, cotton Land Rover gear. And on the inside of the bill, you can see it's got, uh, it's, it's uh, uh, simulated mud splatter. So get dirty, yeah, stay clean in your Land Rover. There you go official Land Rover gear right there. That is a nice hat. So that's one of my ones that I've, I've never worn because it's just so nice. Just a, just, a, just a nice collector piece, if you ask me. Alrighty then, yes. On my adventures, I've gone down to Chicago and I've uh, gone to the dealerships down there. This one is uh, Orloff. Dot com. This is the Orloff uh, dealership. I believe it's uh, Land Rover gear because it's got, this is kind of neat. The, the tail goes into uh, the, the band right here. That is a really cool part. And it's got that slide buckle on there. But this is just a regular plain tan uh, hat with a tan bill. Nothing fancy, nothing, you know, crazy. Got the nice white letter double ring. Land Rover uh, badge on top out of Chicago, Chi-Town. Yeah, you get the old beady eyes on that one. <laughs> All right, here we go. Another one from Chicago. This is a uh, light tan one, white lettering for the Land Rover uh, badge up there, Chicago in green. Uh, this one is kind of sharp. It's got tan, but then it's got the uh, black, uh, I don't know, double, triple brim in there. 
It's really kind of cool. It's really kind of sharp. I like that one. Uh, this one came from, oh yeah, same same place, uh, Orloff. Uh, Orof.com uh, is the dealership down there. A little bit different style. This is not, uh, this was just kind of a, um, this isn't a official Land Rover gear, but uh, really kind of cool that uh, tail slides up into the hat band. It's got this really nice uh, slide buckle to it. So good, good quality. Uh, don't, don't mess with his hair. Okay. <laughs> good quality hat. Really kind of cool. I really like this. This is probably the lightest colored one I have a really light, light tan one. Uh, but it really goes with my, uh, eyes and my, uh, goatee. That's for sure. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, <laughs> all right. This was one of my favorite winter hats. Now, this one I made myself. Yes, you get a little snow blind and buggy eyed <laughs> in the winter. So, what I did was I bought a wool hat at a local, uh, uh, I don't know, dry goods store is what they call them. I had the patches, so I put a patch on the front. Now, this had like a felt tip. Uh, build to it like uh, a leather leather uh, what do they call it? felt yeah something like that but anyway but it's a wool hat so it's really warm there's no flaps to it and then they did uh, lettering embroidery lettering so I put Defender 90 on the side because that is my favorite truck of all Land Rovers you know so then I put one on the back a little a smaller uh, logo on the back now this has got leather that suede, that's what I want to say, suede. And it's really nice. It goes up into the bill there. Really kind of nice. It's got the brass. Now this brass, uh, or I, wait, I think it was brass at one time <laughs> before it got all sweaty and corroded. Uh, now I got to tell you, these hats, this one here is probably, oh my, 15 years old. Yeah, that's been sitting in a box. <laughs> uh, yeah, your, your hair would go white too if you wore this. <laughs> in the Wisconsin tundra. So there you go. This is one that I custom made and I wore it a lot in the winter. It was awesome. I just loved this hat. It's cool. All right. Yes. <laughs> it's winter outside. So we're going to have ourselves a full grown beard and we're going to have ourselves another wool style hat. Now this one's kind of hard to see, but this is a cool hat. It's all wool. It's green. It has uh, Land Rover uh, and the uh, emblem, the badge uh, woven right in. That's not a patch. That is uh, uh, just like that. And then it's got like, I don't know, um, uh, edging on it, which is really kind of cool. But it's not a traditional uh, style hat. Um, it, it has uh, several parts and pieces. You can see the paneling here in on it is really kind of cool and it has like a netting type thing that goes all the way around it so this is a winter hat that keeps your head warm and plastic um clip uh style on there i don't know if i can get to show you that but it's uh clips on here see there yeah kind of neat huh huh kind of cool and then this is kind of a snug it up tight like that yeah so really kind of cool uh, this one came with the white little sticker on it. This is, uh, I believe, uh, Land Rover uh, issued stuff here. Let me see if I... Hold on there, fella. Hold, hold your hat on, all right? <laughs> he is one cool dude. Oh, yes. There you go. There it is. That one was an official Land Rover gear. Really, really cool. And you can see that it's, it's not your typical kind of hat. And uh, you, they just embroidered Land Rover with the oval on it really kind of cool. If you were this cool, you'd be wearing these kind of glasses. I'm going to tell you that right now. All right. <laughs> Cheese balls. What's going on here? Oh, sorry. I'm getting all excited. Bumping into the camera here. <laughs> well, you ladies are probably like, oh man, Dan, don't you have any lady kind of like hats? Well, here you go, ladies. This is what Princess Leah would wear if she had a hat. Yeah. <laughs> This one is awesome. This has got a pewter badge right on it. This is pretty kind of cool. Now, this is the only one other than the orange one that we saw earlier. Most of my hats are tan, 
brown, you know, all that. But this is a nice bright red one. Yes, this is beautiful. Once again, it has the uh, tuck in the tail into the, the brim of the hat. It's got the uh, sliding uh, latch there. Very, very cool. This is red. Never wore this before. I think it's still got the cardboard in it. But uh, yeah, there you go. There's one for you ladies. Princess Leah, she loves a good hat too, huh? All right. <laughs> All right, hold on. I got one more, I think. All righty, and here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of my <laughs> last ones. <laughs> if you're having a bad hair day, and uh, yeah, you got a big honking nose like me, this is the hat to wear. Yes, nobody will recognize you if you wear this hat with your bad hair day. This one, ladies and gentlemen, I bought this one off the shelf. This is kind of a, just a regular old hat, tan with a red bill on it, and you might ask, what is Badgerland Rovers? Yes, well, <laughs> 15 years ago plus, I used to uh, be president of the Wisconsin Badgerland Rovers Club where we did four-wheeling and all this kind of good stuff and everything. Uh, just kind of went out of the way. Yeah, yeah, just kind of went out of the way. Uh, we did some four-wheeling with the uh, Minnesota... Uh, Land Rover group over there, even the Chicago Land Rover group. Uh, yeah, so there you go. That was uh, kind of the group of, uh, I don't know, how many guys did we have? 15, 20 uh, members in the group. So this is it. This is one of mine. So I keep this, uh, never really wore this one either. Just keep that uh, in the archives just to show, you know, hey, we did something. Soon, soon we'll have to have Roverland hats, huh? Yeah, mention, hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up right now. <laughs> all right, let me uh, finish off with my bestest, bestest of all these hats, all right? <laughs> all right, all right, so there we go. There is my Land Rover hat collection. I think this is one of my favorite ones, the Muddy Oval Land Rover hat. This is my uh, one of my favorite ones. I don't, I think it only could improve on having that you know, a, a button slot to get that back in there. But this is one of my favorite ones, the Land Rover gear hat, excellent hat. There you go. Hey guys, if you really like this video, <laughs> this is something crazy. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Give me a big thumbs up. This is Roverland. Make sure you come on over. How the honk are you? Come on over to Facebook, to Roverland, and see me on Instagram, all right? Yeah, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen, my hat collection for you. I got to figure out some way to put these up in the uh, in the uh, shop somewhere, Roverland shop here, so we can uh, enjoy those uh, year-round. But uh, right now, they're in a box because I don't know how to store them. If you got a good idea, uh, comment in the comments down below. Also, if you can remember, it was like, I don't know, 15 hats, something like that. If you can remember what your favorite one was, Put it in the comments below. Come on over to Facebook. Show me your best hat, all right? All right, that's it. I'm out of here. Thank you for joining me. This is your friend Dan O. And remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.